M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to fit a Bluetooth unit, the BU2, and a voice guide unit into the Yaesu FTM400 because these do not come standard like the FTM300, which includes a Bluetooth. So, and we're going to be testing it with an SSM BT10 Yaesu Bluetooth earpiece. These, I think these are good value, they're under £30 and I think they work okay. And I've tested it on the FTM 300 and the FTM 100 and even the ICOM 705. So first thing we're gonna do is turn the radio off, disconnect the power, take off the, the head unit like so. There's the power lead, we'll just take that off. And then we're going to unscrew the lid of the radio. Let's move these devices. Now they do just clip on. There's the, let's get it right, that's the Bluetooth. Let's try and, there, mind they're about £100 the Bluetooth. And the voice guide unit looks like that. So let's get them out of the way, we know what they are. Get the radio into shot, we're just using a rubber duck on here at the moment, because I mainly use it with my all-star node and my hotspot. Take that off, and then let's get it the right way around. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to remove. Take them off, and then we'll clip it all into place. Now we do have to unclip the front. Let's take the uh, head unit connection off. We do have to take the front off, which is just two extra screws, and an SD card here. comes out that way round, gold up. And let's take the lid off and the front just comes off. It's not hard, it's very simple. And we've got a screwdriver like this for taking all these screws off. So they're not tight anyway. So we'll zip them all off. Come back to you when we're about to take the lid off. Because when we take the lid off, the main thing we've got to worry about is actually the uh, the speaker connector, on, which is, I think is on the left. You don't have to take these off, they just hold the speaker. I really do like the FTM 400 because it's got the big screen. That's the thing I like about it. The 300 is a lovely radio, really nice to use, fun to use as well. Um, but the screen on the APRS on this on the 400 is just it's just too good. Um, uh, that's, that's how I see it. It's just too good. Um, the th the downside about the 400 is I think you can't receive digital on the B band, but you don't really need to to be honest. Because uh, even on the 300, it, although it will receive two signals at the same time on the 300, you can't actually hear them. You can see the data coming through, uh, like the call signs, and but you can't hear both simultaneously. The only radio you can hear D-Star or digital simultaneously that I know of is the Icon 51. And believe it or not, the new GD88 that has simultaneous digital receive and you can actually tx when one is uh re and receive which is i know it's not the sort of thing you'd ever do but the fact that it can do it goes to show the kind of hardware that's in that radio although remember with an eight with the gd88 it's not an 878 everyone's bought one thinking oh that'll work like my 878 and it works nothing like the 878 although it is a dmr radio right let's lip got the screws off Let's uh, lift the lid carefully. Okay, lid off. I wouldn't say it came off carefully, but anyway, there's two wires there for the speaker and you just carefully nudge that out. Give that sort of sight right and left wiggle. Good quality speaker. Actually, I think smaller speaker in size than the on the AC FTM 100, but still sounds really good. And you've got these pads that hold things in place as well. So I noticed on the 300, you've got to be careful the pads don't stick to these units that I'm fitting. Okay, now let's do the front screws. We can already see where the voice unit goes. Voice unit or voice guide unit, it's very, I like it because you turn on the radio and it talks to you and it's a bit like a bow phone. Like, I know it's a bit of a gimmick, but I like, it's a gimmick that I like. So get these two front screws off here and it all comes off very easily. Nothing feels um, like, you know, there's anything's gonna break. The screws at the front are shorter. And that should just lift off now, I've got to be careful. It's very, it's just a piece of plastic at the front. So look, there's, that's where your Bluetooth unit is going to go. 
Now I need to make sure of this, because otherwise I'll get it wrong, but I'm 99% sure that's your Bluetooth unit. So let's grab the Bluetooth unit. And uh, it will go. See, it says uh, BU2 on it. See if it will focus, sort of. And then get that up like that, right at the front, look. And just carefully lower it into place. And it clips in nicely, no problem at all. Okay, that's your Bluetooth connected. And now we're gonna get the voice unit, which goes here. I'm not gonna force it, just gonna gently put it into place. Doesn't feel like it's going on either, I'm just gonna check. Okay, that was fine. When it was two-handed, I got my glasses out and just looked carefully. So we got the voice unit there, Bluetooth unit here. See these little sponges? So we're gonna put the, the cover back on and the front back on and we're gonna test this with my SSM BT10. As soon as we turn the radio on, it will talk to us. That's the headpiece. I'm going to use. We just put the front cover on now. Remember, we removed the SD card. Front cover just sits nicely like that. The shorter screws go in the front, like so. And they're not tight, you know, just finger tight, really. That's all I do. Hopefully, that one will reach. That one doesn't reach, so I probably haven't pushed that on properly. So we'll just work out. Yeah, it's probably catching on one of these connectors. Don't worry, we'll do it. We'll loosen it and reconnect. Yeah, what it is, there's a piece of sponge here that holds that in place, and there will be with the lid. And that was sort of getting in the way of lining this up, but it's fine now, it's all lined up now. Right, front screws on, and now we're gonna get the lid on. Like so, we do love tinkering. As long as there's no, there's no soldering involved, I'm all right. Quite happy to piece things together. So, a couple of, you know, connected with the speaker, just carefully try not to stretch it at all or push any of the components that are in and around it, you know, push them so that they, you know, break, basically. So, get that in there. Right, got that in there. And if you're going to use anything to push that, just to make sure it's gone in, make sure it's plastic and don't push too hard. So, lid on, and we're going to now just put a couple of screws in and then test it. So, make sure everything's working before we fit all of the screws. I've got the front ones in anyway, but one at the front, one at the back for now. We'll do the side ones after. Like so. Right, one at the front, one at the back. Let's get the power connected. Make sure the power supply is off. Power on. And then front lead connection. Front head, shall I say? We don't really need the microphone. Let's move that back. So as soon as we turn it on, in theory, we won't put the SD card in yet, in theory, as soon as we turn it on, it will talk to us uh, with the frequency. Okay, here goes. Did we put the power in? Pushing the wrong button. Sorry, too many radios. Make sure we got our power connection on. I realise what I forgot there. So the head unit connector here. No microphone at the moment. So turn it on now. M zero F X B. And what we should zero zero B. You hear that? It said my call sign and also said the frequency. And that's what we wanted. So now it's all about the Bluetooth. So. Let's 
wing it. Let's just have a go, see if we can find the Bluetooth. We'll hold down DISP. We'll go to SD cards not in. Options, I think. Bluetooth. Auto, Vox off, battery normal. That all looks correct. Now I think to actually connect it, we go to config. Go to config. Let's turn on the Bluetooth that we've got. So we've got the Bluetooth, which charges us up, it's flashing away, and then we're gonna go into config like so. And we're gonna look for Bluetooth. Bluetooth pairing, I just went past it there. Bluetooth pairing, and we're just gonna select it. And then we're gonna go enter. It's flashing away, saying pairing. Now, when I did this on the FTM 100, it just, after a few seconds, said, completed so let's wait there you are it says completed right so what we do now is it says it's paired and we're going to go back and we're going to have a listen uh, let's get onto a nice active channel yeah i can hear it in my ear even just changing the channel i can hear the voice guide unit so we're going to find anything on the hotspot no let's see if i can get my all-star node working I'm trying to find some activity here there you are did have something there. Now I've noticed if you hold down DISP, and I'm hearing it fine in my earpiece, and then go to, let's have a look now. Um, and you can actually hear it when it connects and disconnects as well. It t does tell you. So if you hold down DISP, then go to option, then on the, then tap Bluetooth, then go to, uh, audio if you tap this is why i better turn it down fixed audio come out now you can actually hear it you can hear both now let's just test the ptt because like it does work on the ftm 100 and 300 so we'll come off frequency go to vfo memory and we're just gonna grab the b there's the there's the b01 and you can adjust this as well and we're just gonna tx No TX at the moment. Let's keep trying. Now there is a blue, just so you know, there's a Bluetooth little sign there, Bluetooth there. I'm just going to work out the TX. Yeah, I think I was off band and that's why I wouldn't TX. So Bluetooth there and watch this. M0FXB. So it does blue, you know, T PTT. And of course you need to do some tests yourself to set the audio at a level which uh, everyone is not complaining and saying that you've got very poor audio. So that's it. So that's how you connect the voice unit, which is working great. Let's turn it off. If we turn it on and off and you'll hear it. M zero F X B four zero zero D. There you go. So thanks for watching Bluetooth unit and voice guide unit. Seven three, all the best. Catch you on.